Sometimes there are moments where I just thought, what am I doing? The violence is so prevalent in our world. Who am I and what do I think I could possibly ever do to stop the violence? And then I take a deep breath and I remember that I want to be a grain of sand on the beach that takes us to a nonviolent world because I know it will happen, I know it's possible, and I know the violence that people endure and go through and end up being really graceful and gracious after it happens, I know that it can stop. I'm not going to see it in my lifetime, so I'm not Pollyanna enough to believe that, but I see changes happening all the time that move us to a nonviolent world. I have seen so many incredible people. I believe that everybody that does this work gets to see heroes and actual angels here on this earth every single day. Um, a few years ago, I was starting to feel a little tattered and, and didn't know if I wanted to do this work anymore and didn't know if I could and began to think about alternatives. And at that moment in time, I got five different phone calls from people that Center for Community Solutions had had the opportunity to serve. One woman had been beaten in her home by a stranger who raped her, and she came in and told me her story and told me what it was like to have people by her side and how they helped her heal. And she was so thankful of, to me uh, for what this organization had done for them. I, I, the next day I got another call, and this hasn't happened in my 30 years of doing this work. For the next week or so, I consecutively got calls from people this organization had served. Another woman had had her neck slit by um, her husband, and she lived to survive and came to tell me what difference we were making and how we had helped change her. And this was done without anger, without animosity, without vengeance. It was with grace and love that they came forward. So there are times where I have felt the despair, and I would never have the gall to tell somebody that we're serving, you just lifted me up. But that's truly, it, it, we're, we're continually growing and lifting each other up every single day. The violence against women, and it also happens against men, really, I would say to a group of men, we can do this collectively together. Let's talk about it. It's, it's, there are painful issues, and it happens to our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, our fathers. It's not just women that are being affected by the violence in our community. It's all of us, and it affects one of us. It affects all of us. So men and women together not only can educate themselves, educate their children, they can find their voice. When someone is saying something that marginalizes another human being, it marginalizes every single one of us. So collectively, if we find our voice, if we join hands, it's not just men, it's not just women. We need to do the work together, and it is very, very possible to stop the violence.